Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mr. Fox, and I'm here at Linda Elementary School in Linda, California. Today, I'm going to be reading a book titled The Pout Pout Fish Goes to School. It's written by Deborah Dyson and pictures by Dan Hanna. Let's get into this book. Well, swimming into our school, we see a large sea turtle. And it starts out a long time ago. When Mr. Fish was very small, he headed off to school for the first time of all. With a smooch from his parents and excited for his day, Mr. Fish rushed in then lost his way. Well, look at there. There's the school and all the fish coming in. The big fish around him knew exactly where to go. Finding lockers, finding classes in a fast, smart flow. Look at him going down. And there's, there's one right there with a backpack on his back. Yeah. Mr. Fish left behind with his grin sinking thin finally stopped at the doorway and he shyly looked in. There he is with his backpack. He's got all of his pencils and his magic marker. He's ready to go to school but he's not sure where he's at. The class was doing writing, and most everybody knew. So he tried to print his name, but he just couldn't do it. Look at the other ones there. They're doing very good. But look at Mr. Fish. He just can't get it. Do you feel sorry for him? So he flub, flub, frowned, making blub, blub bubbles. Then he plopped down his pencil and he counted off his troubles. Trouble one, I'm not smart. Trouble two, I'll never get it. Trouble three, I don't belong. So four, I should never forget it. Nope. I should forget it. Give up. Get out of there. Is that the answer? Well, let's see. He floated with a frown down the long corridor. Then he sneak peeked a look through another room door. The class was drawing shapes, and most everybody knew. So he tried to make a rhombus, but he just couldn't do it. So he flub, flub, frowned, making bubble, bub, bubbles. Then he popped down his pencil and he counted off his troubles. Trouble one, I'm not smart. Trouble two, I'll never get it. Trouble three, I don't belong. So four, I should forget it. He drifted down the hallway with a double-double face till he spied another doorway. Maybe this was the place.
The class was doing math and most everybody knew. So he tried long division, but he just couldn't do it. So he flub flub frowned, made bub bub bubbles. Then he plopped down his pencil and he counted off his troubles. Oh, trouble one, I'm not smart. Trouble two, I'll never get it. Trouble three, I don't belong. So four, forget it. He rushed toward the exit. That's enough, I say. School is way too tough, and I'm not going to stay. Then a soft, kind voice said, Don't you fret. You don't have to know things you haven't learned yet. Your classroom awaits. I'm your teacher, Miss Hewitt. I am here to help you learn, and I know that you can do it. You're a fish who is smart. With practice, you will get it. Young fish, you belong. Don't you ever forget it. The student and the teacher swam a splish, splash, splish, swish to the door with a sign marked brand new fish. There it is with a big star on the door. Miss Hewitt said, good morning. I'm excited you're all here. Together we will have a spectacular year. Fact one, you are smart. Fact two, you can get it. Fact three, you belong. So four, don't forget it. The class got to work and Miss Hewitt helped them through it. They listened and they tried and everyone could do it. Mr. Fish gave a grin. Goodbye, bubble blubs. No more doubts, no more worries, no more flub flub troubles. He swam with his class, Miss Hewitt by his side. As the students and their teachers said with confidence and pride, Fact one, we are smart. Fact two, we can get it. Fact three, we belong. And four, we won't forget it. Kinder Guppy's class reunion. Miss Hewitt's class. Are they all happy? And by the way, they're smart. I'm Mr. Fox, and I'm here at Linda Elementary School in Linda, California. <laughs>